one muffin, please? please. Sure. Hi everyone, today we're talking inflation, which is the general increase in the price of stuff over time. So, right now, inflation is the highest it's been in two decades. Now, inflation isn't scary by itself. For example, this muffin could go from $3 to $5. But as long as our wages are growing in line with inflation, we can still buy the same amount of muffins. Unfortunately, in Australia, wage growth has stagnated for almost a decade now, and in recent times, wages have been growing at a rate below inflation, meaning our cost of living is increasing, or as I like to put it, it's becoming more expensive to be alive. So, how do we make wage growth great again? Well, companies could pay their employees more. Those companies might argue that that will force up prices for consumers, but that's not necessarily true. Let's use bananas as an example. If Coles paid their staff more, they could charge us more for bananas. Or Coles made $1.1 billion in profit last year, so maybe they could make a tiny bit less and keep bananas at the same price. Or maybe they could give away less free saucepans. Something else that might not be sunshine and rainbows for wage growth is that businesses want to return to pre-COVID levels of migration because they believe Australia's cultural diversity is its strength. Just kidding, it's because we don't pay migrants very much. A pre-COVID study found that a third of Australian foreign workers were paid less than half the minimum wage. Yo, I'm the government. This all sounds terrible. Shame there's nothing I can do about it. Actually, there's heaps of stuff. Uh, increased public sector wages. No. Support and increase to the minimum wage. No, I'm good, thanks. Increased protection for temporary visa holders against exploitation. They're fine. Did you not hear what I just said? Listen, the low unemployment rate will lead to wage growth as businesses compete for fewer available workers. You're welcome. Also, do you want a coffee? Um, yes, please. And just to correct you there, in the past decade, even when the unemployment rate's been low, it's had no discernible impact on wages. Oh, whatever. And Treasury has overestimated the amount wages will grow every year since 2013. So what? I'm an optimist. Another argument you'll hear against upping wages is that as people's wages go up, they'll buy more, which could increase inflation. But that's not necessarily true either. Coffee for shithead? Because we're not talking about buying more, we're just trying to buy the same amount. We want to be able to afford the same amount of coffee as prices rise. Look, we need to do something, team, because I don't want to pay any more than necessary to be alive. Being alive is one of my favourite things. <laughs> is that dirt? I don't know what I'm doing, I'm the government.